Hey everybody, I had another minute. As you can see, I'm in the car again. <laughs> I just thought that um, I would update a bit about kind of where I'm at in life. Um, since 2019, I have been working on making an income through doing things that I actually enjoy and that I'm actually passionate about. I have a lot of new followers here or subscribers and in 2020, a lot of y'all probably don't know, I was let do, let go due to COVID from my corporate job. I'd been working in the corporate world for four years and um, I was miserable. And it was actually a blessing in disguise that I got let go. And the first week or so of that was I felt like such a failure. I was in such a major place of depression because my worth was wrapped up in my what you know work and how much money I can make and all of that stuff and I'm still struggling with seeing myself um, my self-worth is wrapped up in how much money I can make and while finances are extremely important and being able to not just survive but thrive is extremely important. I also know that there's like a deeper level to everything and that I innately have worth and I, innate, I innately have value just by being here as do every single one of us. So I got laid off in 2020 and thank the Lord um, because it was due to COVID I qualified for unemployment and it was a huge blessing in disguise because it was it, it was more money than I had been making working, which it's insane and it's all nuanced and we can, all, I'm sure we all have opinions on all of that. But for me, it was a huge blessing. I did not take it for granted. I took a lot of that money and put it into my eBay business that I had been running since 2019. And I took a lot of that extra income and was able to purchase new products to be able to sell on my eBay store. So I worked on buff, uh, buffing, yeah, is that the right word? Like beefing up my eBay store and the business. And then I also put <clears throat> some of that money into purchasing all the classes that I needed to get my real estate license. Because that is that was something that I had been wanting to do for several years. I had thought about being a realtor because it interested me. I had heard so much about real estate, not just as a realtor, but how you can make so much money in real estate, doing investing and flipping and all of this stuff. Um, it had been on my radar for a while, but you know what? A bunch of people had told me that, it, oh, it doesn't really fit your personality. I just can't see you as a realtor. And I believed them. I allowed their perception of me to hold me back from doing it. But because of getting unemployment, suddenly I had the the money, the extra money to be able to pay for these courses. And in late 2020, I started taking the courses. And in 2021, I passed the final exams and I got, I officially became a licensed real estate agent in Texas. <clears throat> Pardon me. 2022 was my first full year as an agent and I did quite well. For me, I did well. I was... I'd never made that kind of money, you know, just in, you know, you just get a check after the whole thing is done. You just get this big old check. And I had never experienced anything like that. Um, and it was very easy because the market was so easy. You know what? 20, 2023, our economy is tanking. People are terrified to buy. Prices on homes are high. Interest rates are high. And as the interest rates continue to climb, <laughs> the prices are not going down. So all that to say, right now, I am not doing well in real estate. And that's okay. I'm okay sharing that. I'm okay being transparent with you and telling you the truth of what I'm going through. I'm not doing well in real estate. I don't, I haven't lived in the area where I live now for very long. So I, I don't have a network. I don't have a sphere of influence. The people that I do know, I would say 90% of the people I know in this area are real estate agents. So it's very difficult. I am, I'm, I'm struggling and that's okay. It's not going to always be this way. So what I'm doing and the reason I'm in my car again in this video is because I'm door dashing. 
because you know what? I can actually make pretty good money to help cover my bills by door dashing. And I'm not embarrassed to do it. That's something that so many people, um, we sometimes we got to get out of our own way and not be embarrassed and stay humble doing what you know you need to do in order to take care of yourself and be a team player. I'm being a team player in my household. Um, I've been sitting here this year watching my significant other. I've been watching him handle so much stress and dealing with so much unhappiness because his job, we, we, I, I can go into more detail of that later, but he took on a new position this year. It was a pay cut. He was excited because it was the first time he'd been asked to manage and he took it, but it was a pay cut and, and it's been really difficult. So I've been sitting here watching him struggle. We've, the household has made way less money this year. And I know that I, I've had to step up to the plate um, to help with financially. Um, he could do it all on his own, but to me, it's selfish for me to, to just be sitting here. You know, I do everything that I need to do marketing, marketing wise, trying to drum up business for real estate. But after a time when nothing's working and nothing's happening, you got to just face reality. And that's why I started doing DoorDash. Of course, I'm still doing my eBay and I'm also looking for a part-time job. Um, I've been applying to, to jobs for part-time jobs until things straighten out and, and we're, we're back making the type of money we were making before. This is just the economy and the world and the America that we're living in right now. And I know so many of you can relate to what I'm talking about. Um, so I, I'm going to, shut it off here because I don't want to go over 10 minutes. Most people are not going to even watch this long, but if you did, thank you. Um, I just wanted to share that and encourage you that if you're going through tough financial times right now, we can all relate. No one is perfect. Um, we know that we're way blessed than so many people out there, but we're still, we're hurting. We're hurting. The economy is hurting us. And I just want other people to know that you're not alone. We're all dealing with this and we're all feeling the pressure. And the most important thing we can do is to just, you know, strap in and continue to work hard. If you don't have a job, keep looking for a job. If you need a second job to help supplement your income, do it. I know it sucks. I never wanted to go back to corporate, but I might have to, and that's okay. I'm going to be humble and I'm not gonna be too, so prideful and selfish that I won't do what I need to do to make sure that we as a household are okay. So I just encourage you to hang in there. I know it's hard right now, um, but we gotta do what we gotta do and just stand in solidarity together. And I'm gonna go keep door dashing. So I'll talk to y'all later, bye.